Hey yo, what it do baby, it's your boy Dynamic bringing you part 6 in my Grand Theft Auto 5 playthrough series. I've decided to skip some of the missions because there's so many missions that it would take me about 60 videos to actually finish the game and one or two videos per day it'll probably take me like two and a half months so i would rather just take the most memorable missions and like bring it to you guys and this is actually one of the most memorable missions that i've had so far in the game actually trevor is like man he's so so freaking amazing like for real like if his missions are freak have been freaking amazing so far this mission allows me to talk a little bit more. I'm attacking an enemy gangs or rivals compound or whatever. And I'm actually sniping and I'm protecting one of my friends in the game. So that he doesn't get killed. As you see, I'm sniping from far. And right there, that's the guy right there. And I'm supposed to protect him all the way through. So that he can get close to the hangar. You guys will see why this is one of the craziest missions. So I'm going to let the gameplay speak for itself. There's one, and there's the other. You got him! Now don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out. Do you guys see the variety in Grand Theft Auto V? Rockstar made a solid, solid world where there are multiple possibilities for different missions. It's crazy, man. You can erase him now! He's out! You should have seen the look on his face! There's a guy coming out of the control tower. Take him out! Shit! This ain't a joke! He's gotta go! So long, sailor! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated that chopper! Just fucking drive! You're bikers! It's looking for us, T! We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority! If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here! Try and hit the pilot when he's settled! They might think he crashed! Might they? They might. That chopper's gonna be on us, we don't take him. <laughs> the pilot plan didn't work, but they know they're being attacked. Okay, so this is one of my favorite things about this game that is so much improved, the combat. It's so much improved. That's why I'm so psyched for the online because it's just, it opens up a world of possibilities. I don't know how many players it is. It might be like 16. I don't know, but it has like so much potential to be really, really good. And I think that's the reason that Rockstar was promoting it so much because they want their game to be as popular online as it is offline. So that's one of the things that has me so excited. But one thing that I want them to do that I don't like that much for multiplayer purposes is the auto lock on aim, like the auto targeting, not auto aim per se, not like Call of Duty. I'm talking about like the, the targeting in this game. When you press the left trigger, it targets automatically onto the character. So if you tap the left trigger, then you tap it again, it like automatically locks on to the character. I don't like that. I'd rather the aim be manual, but just have like a little bit of auto aim, like sticky aim basically, which takes a lot more skill. That's what I would want for the online section of the game. I really hope that it's like that because the game experience will be a lot better and it'll actually take more skill and, you know, it won't be as such a random crapshoot if they make the game like that. Crates, Trevor! Just like you said! Rest of the guns must be on the plane down the end of the runway. Get me to that plane! Okay, so at the time I was playing the game, I was so into what I was doing that I was shooting and everything that I forgot that I had to blow up a tank that was on the right and I even forgot what button I had to press so I basically had to press every button to be able to find out which button was that it blew up and when it blew up I wasn't able to record the explosion and that kind of sucked but you know I was just too into the game. Get 
Get me to my plane, Ron! As you guys can see, I'm flying. This was so much fun, actually. I had to drop off a shipment of drugs into the middle of the ocean and avoid a military base. So this is me dropping the shipment or whatever of drugs right in the same spot. Then I had to race my friend Ron back to the place where to one of those secret runways or something made out of dirt. So I had to race him back there. And I actually had to land the plane. I crashed one time, so I had to do a mission over again because it was I'm a terrible. Well, at first I was a terrible plane driver. Like I had to figure out the buttons and everything because I have I have forgotten from Grand Theft Auto 4. But this is me the second time I'm trying to land it. As you can see, I'm all wobbly and stuff, and I press the brakes too late, so my plane just dips down. And then I press the accelerator again, and like I ran into a tree. But thankfully this time, the plane did not blow up. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate or masturbate or both. Trevor has some sort of illegal crystal meth company or something like that that he thinks in his head but anyways i hope you guys like this commentary and welcome to gta 5 baby